the rational zero test, what the difference between the rational zero test and Descartes rule of signs is the rational zero test is dealing with real numbers. We, know, we are assuming that we have real numbers. So see here, if I was going to use, when, there's no point, uh, well actually, um, there's no real so positive solutions. However, I could have a real negative solution. So what, Descartes, what the rational zero test says is if we're going to find zeros, right, when we find solve zeros, if it's rational, it's going to be one of these numbers. And basically all you guys need to do for the rational zero test is you need to determine the factors of p over q. And that's plus or minus. So what we're going to do is determine the factors of p. The factors of 2 are 2 and 1. And then we're going to factor, determine the factors of q, which are 3 and 1. So I chose a really basic one for you guys, just to make sure we can get them. The only factors of p, 2, are 2 and 1. p is your constant. q is your co leading coefficient. And then all we simply do is write them out. 2 over 3, 2 over 1. 1 over 3, 1 over 1. So I write this as plus or minus 2 over 1, comma, I'm sorry, I'll do it. 2 over 1, now let's do 2 over 3, comma, 2 over 1, comma, 1 over 3, comma, 1 over 1. So therefore, when I simplify that, that's plus or minus for every one of these. Plus or minus, so I have plus or minus 2 thirds, comma, plus or minus 2, comma, plus or minus 1 third, comma, plus or minus 1. So what that tells us is if you have a rational 0, right? Remember when we had zeros like x equals 5 or x equals 1 half? If you have a rational 0, it is going to be one of those rational zeros that I just listed. So if we have a 0 for this polynomial, if we have a rational 0, not imaginary or not irrational, but if we have a rational 0, it's going to be one of these numbers. And I'm not going to really go through, um, I'm not going to.